Giannis scoring 64 points in Milwaukee's 140-126 revenge win over Indiana. Career high, Bucks record, 64 points from Giannis. This guy was at the free throw line all game, obviously was <laughs> dominant from the field, but after the game, the Pacers allegedly took the game ball, intending to give it to rookie Oscar Shibwe. Who? Yes, Oscar rookie Rookie Oscar Shibwe, who scored his first NBA points. Mm-hmm. Sort of. He scored He scored <laughs> in the IST finals. Oh, really? <laughs> the worst time to score <laughs> your first points. But it doesn't count. It doesn't count. <laughs> so the Bucks were not happy about this development. Some of them, including Giannis, uh, you know, chasing the Pacers into the tunnel, leaning into the locker rooms there, looking for that damn ball. And, uh, you know, the dispute spilled into the post-game interviews. It was all very weird. Oh, also yeah. very funny. Um, and, and again, this was in a game where Giannis goes for 64 points and it's like, yeah, okay, who cares? It's all about getting this game ball and who had it and how many game balls are there. It doesn't matter which one you get. Yeah. There were two and game that, balls apparently. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. And three claims on the game ball. We got, uh, Giannis's career high, Oscar Shibwe getting his official first point and of course Damian Lillard passing Kyle Korver on the all-time three-point list which Giannis was lying about saying that's why he was going after the ball (laughs) we don't believe you (laughs) you think he wanted it for himself yeah Yeah, I do considering he took it home yeah Yeah, and then he said in the press conference I've got a ball I don't think it's the game ball it feels a little stickier like if it felt different than the one he just scored 64 points with Mm -hmm. I'm definitely giving it to my mom he said no matter (laughs) what a career high weird it's it's hard weird. to remember seeing Giannis that upset though after the game. What about Laddergate? Uh, yeah, he was upset about Laddergate <laughs> too, but he almost crushed a guy with yeah, a ladder because yeah. he couldn't make free throws. Good point. Uh, I think he was more upset here though. I mean, he was. he was like he's like yelling at Halliburton and Lloyd Pierce and obviously screaming to the back like, "Where is this ball?" Give me this ball back. And all the footage is coming out now. You, you see videos of the Pacers. I guess Miles Turner. You know, don't give it back to him. And like, he didn't get that ball. <laughs> and, uh, you know, yeah. All the other, like, clips you're seeing. And, and again, the quotes. But, um, I mean, it's fun. It's fun in the sense that it feels like a nice little rivalry here building uh, over the last couple weeks. Because let me go through it. Tyrese does the Dame Time celebration. When he hit the dagger in the IST semifinals against the Bucks, it was great. You know, they knocked him out. Giannis, he talked about getting some revenge. He sure as hell does go and get it. He scored 64 points last night. He dropped a shoulder into Tyrese Halliburton. Absolutely he did. He leveled him in this game. So he, of course, is looking for some sweet revenge. Yeah. Later in the game, you know, Giannis is running up the score here in his points. Uh, Neesmith hard fouls him underneath the rim, you know, around the shoulders, around the neck, brings him down, tries to pick him right back up, but that pisses off everybody. Uh, Bobby Portis and his laser eyes are going nuts. He gets tossed. <laughs> Thanasis, Giannis's brother, held back by Crowder. I mean, it looked like he was going to come out there and probably get a couple game suspensions for whatever he was about to do, but he's held back. And then after the game, we get the yoink of the ball here, and who's got it? It's like hot potato with whatever the game ball is. And again, this goes even into the post-game press conference. I think I summed it up there. But yeah, wow. Like and the fact that Turner dunked on Yanis's head the last time yeah. they played. Yes, this too. So that was a part of it. This was definitely a revenge game for the Bucks. They lost in the semifinal to this Pacers team. They've lost to them twice this season already before this game. So yeah, it wasn't just a game ball gate, which followed up the ladder gate. Uh, this, <laughs> this, this was real. Even though it was fake, it was real. It, it, it just It seems so weird because Damian Lillard took that buzzer three ball at the end Bucks assistant got the ball yes. he went and got, a Bucks assistant went and got the ball and handed it to another person who every everybody on Twitter was doing the video work yeah and, and I thought who is that guy that the Bucks assistant handled it handed it to right. must be must be a Pacers guy but it was another Bucks guy yeah it came from that side of the yeah, floor yeah yeah so what's <laughs> what is happening that they're fighting about a ball okay well Ziller had a funny theory about all this he says it could be that the Bucks did have the actual game ball initially, but they got word that the Pacers took a game ball. Again, there are multiple game balls, which was the backup ball. And then after all the drama, the Pacers actually gave Giannis the ball they took, thinking it was the real game ball, 
But it wasn't because the Bucks already had that real game ball. <laughs> so when Giannis says it didn't feel like the game ball, the one that he was touching after all of this, it wasn't because it was the backup ball. But the Bucks even had the real game ball. So they ended up with maybe both of them. That's a decent theory. <laughs> decent theory. Good theory. Uh, but hilarious. I mean, I was explaining this to my wife, Nora, this morning. Like, going through these clips and, you know, Giannis getting upset and going to the back and some of the post-game press conferences and the hard foul. And she's like, what is good? This is like a Real Housewives episode. There's more drama in this. These grown men over a ball than one of those episodes. I was like, eh, some truth to that. Um, but a very funny, weird moment <laughs> in the NBA. With the with a superstar in Giannis, like, yeah, this isn't yeah, nobody. Man. This is like the face of the league. Just go score sixty five next time. This wasn't even that impressive of a sixty four point game. <laughs> it took thirty two free throws. Yeah. Nobody wants to see thirty plus free throws. It's only happened thirteen times in NBA history. Mostly Wilt Chamberlain. Mm. The last to do it though, Andre Drummond in twenty sixteen. I think he scored seventeen points <laughs> and took thirty plus oh. free throws. Yeah, Giannis twenty four for thirty two at the line. <laughs> yeah. Man. Pretty damn uh, good but petty stuff uh, from both sides, I will say. Uh, so good going forward. Hopefully they meet in the playoffs. Exactly. Yeah. How could you not love this? I mean, uh, some real beef here. They hate each other. And Yanis is so good against the Pacers. They played each other three times. He has scored 155 points in three games, so he's averaging over 50 in those games. <laughs> he can punish those dudes. <laughs> he, can, he can just score on them. And he doesn't like Miles Turner. Miles Turner dunked on him earlier this season in the semifinals, and he dunked on him before he's – Got a good little dunk montage. Two on Giannis, one time on Tristan Thompson, one time on Gordon Hayward. Our fantastic fans, after we said that's the best dunk of his career when he dunked on Giannis in the semifinals, threw those ones out. So he's got some good ones, but Giannis likes to score on these guys. Five 50-point games this season in the NBA. Giannis already has two of them. I know people don't want to give him the MVP or I've put in so many more guys above him, like Tyrese Halburn, who had a good game in this one. And I love the way the Pacers play at home. So it was fun. Uh, but, yeah, the Bucks want to keep beating these dudes. You know, 70 points in the paint. You keep, they just score in the paint. The funny so, part is, coming into this game, I think a lot of people, at least myself, thought, ooh, this will be the Dame revenge game. I mean, he will be the one that really sort of tries to send a message to Halliburton and the Pacers for what they did and the Selly and all that. But no, Giannis says, I got this. <laughs> I'm going to go dunk on these guys and go nonstop at the rim until they have no point or nothing else to do but foul me, foul me, foul me. And Dame, I was feeling for Dame during the confrontation. He's like, man, I don't care. I passed Kyle Korver. Yeah. Nobody cares. I'm not first. <laughs> Halliburton what, what within all of this. Line, yeah, man. Middleton, Lillard. Uh, Beasley, like everybody is like, are you okay, man? Like, what's like, he was really fired up about that ball. It takes a lot, but you can get under Giannis's skin. It goes back to yeah. his first playoff appearance with the Bulls when he just completely shoulder checked Mike Dunleavy after the Bucks were getting sent home in the first round. Okay, mm. moving on. Yeah, well, I, and, and, and he only got to that 64 point total because the Pacers closed the gap pretty quickly. He came back in the game, it was 19 points with 324 left. He goes and sit down, but that's when Oscar Sheebway went off. And Ben Shepard, who? Ben Shepard went off for the Pacers and made it a close gap. So he came back into the game with two minutes and four seconds left and then scored and scored and scored and scored again. That's the only time, that's the only reason, I should say, that he got to 60 ben points. Shepherd. Ben Can't Shepherd. Wait. Can't wait for the next Oscar Sheebway. Uh, she win. Yeah, I, I love that that plot twist that he already had scored in an NBA game, but it was the final, so it didn't count. There's something so funny about that.